Good day, rehabbers. It's Jameen Willis here with another investment property tour for you. We are in sunny Las Vegas. We are in the 89121 area. This area is called Whitney. Um, this is an older home. It's a ranch, three bedrooms, two full baths, um, has a two car garage. This is an older home with a nice, um, it's a nice floor plan. It's an older home. But the floor plan is nice. A lot of different things that you can do. Right off the bat, let me see if I can scoot back and see it. You can see that those have, it's a shingle roof and there are shingles all over the place over there to the left of the roof. So we definitely got some issues with the roof going on. Um, you have like an older yellow color and green trim outside. So you definitely want to repaint that. You can do some really cool things out front with the landscaping of a pretty big tree right there. So you have this little front area that's covered with like, um, you can have this redone and do a lot of shade right here. It's pretty cool. You can put a fountain right here, a koi pond, a lot of different things you can do with this front area right here. And it provides some shade from our sunny Las Vegas weather. So let's take a look. So like I said, this home is an older home. There's some quality things like this is a solid door right here, but that definitely wouldn't be able to stay. So right off the bat, you have like a great room, family room area here that is really nice size. This one has, the ceilings are higher in here. This is like an older laminate flooring that's not real hardwood. Don't get too excited about that. So this is a dining area right here with the green. Here's just a pretty nice size coat closet. So this is three bedrooms, two full baths, but also as soon as you walk in off the main hallway, right to your right here, you have a nice study. So you could really play this off well, make it a study, office, man cave, because you have a sink right here. And so you can put your little refrigerator in there, have you a really nice man cave, or it could really be a really nice home office. You have some built-in bookshelves here. So yeah, that would be a great study. And people really like home offices right now. So a den right up front is pretty cool so definitely older kitchen you have old towel countertops so you would totally redo this kitchen the the uh, cabinets are pretty old so you couldn't salvage those have a good old vine wallpaper for you so you could totally redo this kitchen but it's pretty nice size have some cabinets over here. You can put a convection oven, smooth top range right there. Then right off of the kitchen, you have a family room with a wood burning fireplace. I actually love wood burning fireplaces coming from the Midwest. It's just a really homey feel to have a wood burning fireplace. So you have that brick here. I would whitewash that brick and uh, really play up this fireplace, change the front, and get rid of the gold. If you watch my properties before, I hate gold. So let me show you the other rooms here. So we go through this hallway right here. You have a hall bath right here, and you can tell it was an older person that lived here because look at the toilet, it's a raised toilet. Um, you have the grab bars. Um, a lot of people put um, grab bars when you have an elderly person moving in and normally this would have a panel where you can open this with a tub that deep but they didn't put it in here so that's actually a pretty decent sink right there but because then you got wainscoting at the bottom so it's not that bad you can actually save that sink probably paint it or restain it and then i would keep the wainscoting the wainscoting wainscoting is pretty nice so you have that hall bathroom here. This is just a linen closet there. These are really dark colors here. That's the another entryway to the study right there. 
So there's some dark colors in here. There's some really dark tan, some dark mustard colors in here. So you have your laundry area right here with washer and dryer, little closet there. And then you come in straight from the two car garage into the laundry room. So you have a nice two car garage, plenty of space in here. Looks like a newer garage door that they put on there. And uh, let's see. Oh, this goes to the front too. So you can come in the garage and go through that door or you can come in and come straight into the laundry room. It has a weird ceiling in here. It's like textured, but it's like really thick. So this is like a dark mustard color right here, but it's a very nice size closet that you can, it's not a walk-in closet, but it's a walk-through closet. You can walk all the way through. So this is a nice size bedroom here. Just put new ceiling fan, paint, new doors. You'll be good to go in here. So this is your primary bedroom right here. So they painted a mural right here on the wall. And you have an old school vanity area right here where you can sit and do your makeup. Do you have a walk-in closet nice size walk-in closet and then this is your primary bathroom right here so you do have a door that you can go out from the primary bathroom with a little doggy door also for all the pet lovers out there so you just have a shower here not a tub they did upgrade the sink here so that's a granite countertop but you still have your old cabinet base right there so I guess in theory you could keep the countertop. So I like this property. This property has a lot of character. It's not your typical home that's been thrown up. Older homes, especially um, here in Vegas, have a lot of character. So a lot of times you can keep some things, keep some character within the home, even though you're rehabbing it and upgrading it. But a lot of times you can keep the character in the home, especially there are things like this. So a little bit different layout, cool layout. Let me show you the backyard. The backyard is pretty cool too. Have a decent, decent amount of space here. Um, it looks like they had a little bit of a grilling incident right here. <laughs> so that looks like uh, damage from Somebody using a charcoal grill or a gas grill incident right there. But you have, just like the front, you have a little covered area for shade. You have this area right here that's covered for shade also. So this is going to be pretty cool. You can kind of make this like a little gazebo area back here. Put you some nice tables and chairs or some benches going around there. That'd be really nice. So you have a lot of trees back here, which provides privacy it provides shade and it's just great to have landscaping <laughs> normally you have a lot of rocks and palm trees but um it looks like they had a palm tree that they cut down they didn't go all the way down to the stump but they had a palm tree that they cut down right there so it's a really cool backyard not a huge backyard but it's enough space for you to have a little fun And it does have a little side yard there. So here's evidence that you need a new roof on the property when you see shingles laying around the ground. It's a good indicator. See right there, the shingle. It's a good indicator that you need a new roof. So yeah, I like this property. Definitely has a lot of character. I love homes built in the 70s and 80s. Other than mid-century modern, properties mid-century modern properties are my favorite but other than that homes built in the 70s and 80s have a lot of uh character to them and they are really well built properties so we're definitely going to see what we can do on this one 
and so let's see you next time.